Hey guys, this is Jaron Walker from DSport Magazine, and we're in the Borg Warner booth with Brian Reinhardt. And today we're going to talk about the SXE line of turbochargers they have available for this year. Yeah, this is our uh, SXE line. This comes from the SX line that we've sold for a good number of years. The SX line is our hydrodynamic journal bearing turbos, and now we've tagged on the dash E to denote the, the new enhancements that we have here. So you'll notice that this turbo has a, a forge milled compressor wheel. The forge milled wheel is certainly popular with the end users, so we, we wanted to make that available. We have also have a new compressor cover. And the compressor cover and the entire compressor stage has been enhanced, and this enhancement has actually increased the surge margin and the choke flow. So where we've had great performance from the SX, the SXE is better in every way. Also here we have 360 degree thrust bearings for durability. We're able to feed these 360 degree thrust bearings internally instead of the oil hole being on the ramp. So these have a, a much better durability and a higher thrust capacity. That's for uh, the S300 SXE. You'll notice here that it has a lot of the same features you see on the S200, the recirculated cavity, uh, the new compressor stage, also has the pre-machined speed sensor port. You can choose to use that or not. If you do choose to use that, there's an operation online that shows you how to drill that hole out and install the speed sensor. It also has a pre-machined port for a wastegate if you choose to go that way. These turbos are very versatile. We see these in a lot of different applications from uh, passenger car, uh, diesel truck applications, a lot of applications with uh, either an open flow turbine housing or a divided T4 inlet. So we also have here on the table in front of us the, uh, the S400. You'll see the S400 has a new compressor wheel for Borg Warner. These two, uh, SXE, the S200 and the S300, have a compressor wheel that has 14 blades. It has seven splitter blades and seven main blades, but the new design is 10 full blades. Quite an improvement in overall efficiency and flow. This is also uh, the largest compressor trim that we've ever offered in an S400. This is an 88 millimeter inducer, 110 millimeter back wall compressor wheel, and uh, fantastic performance here. We see a lot of these already in use in uh, drag racing applications, making really good power with great map width again. Uh, this is on our 96 millimeter turbine. We have a couple of new turbine housing options for the 96 millimeter turbine that I think a lot of people are gonna be excited about. That's gonna be uh, a 145A over R, where we've always offered the 132. We also have a 158A over R, for a, a lot of those street applications, the one that may become most popular is the 115. So the 115A over R turbine housing for the S400 96 millimeter will be available early next year, uh, but we are introducing it at the show this year. What kind of applications are you seeing the guys use it on in the import side? Really, you know, across the board, we see a lot of Volkswagen applications from the 1.8 liter to the 2 liter. We do have the, the divided housing here, which takes advantage of the pulse energy. We've seen them used as, as twins on a lot of V8 applications. Even this little guy, capable of about 650 horsepower, two of these on a, an LS motor is capable of about 1,100 horsepower. So it's really a nice small package and, uh, and does a great job. Obviously here, uh, we see those in twin configurations on the V8s a lot as well. Horsepowers of more in the 14 to 1800 range. Uh, but these are also widely used on the rotary engines and uh, they do a great job. They like the big 80 millimeter turbine that we have to offer. Uh, also another thing that I'll mention here, we talked about the new trim size in the S400 that we have it in the 88 millimeter. Well, this is the largest trim that we've ever offered in an S300. So where always before we've offered a 66 millimeter inducer S300, which has been very popular, very common charger to sell throughout the years. Now we offer this in a 69. So it's the same 91 millimeter back wall compressor wheel, but in a larger trim percentage to have 69 millimeters on the inducer. This actually outflows our, our older 72 millimeter S400s. So in an S300 frame with the 69 millimeter inducer, all the enhancements in the compressor stage now outflows the, the older S472s, as most people refer to them as. Really big performance out of these. This, this unit's capable of 1,000 horsepower with the right displacement engine. One more question I had is, do you know the uh, MSRP on each of the turbochargers? Well, you know, we're factory, so we sell to the distributors. We can't exactly tell the distributors what to sell for, but I believe this unit is in the $900 range and probably in the $800 range on the 200s. Um, 
bit more for the S400s. I would expect to pay around 1400 for those. But again, those are just suggestions. The distributors set the price. We're here with John Norton, the EFR engineer over at Borg Warner. And today we're going to talk about the EFR turbo line. Uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about this turbo line and some of the changes that you guys have made uh, to the EFR. Well, engineered for racing is what EFR stands for. And on this display here, we have the different frame size represented. This is a B1 frame size, a small package, uh, but high power capable. This is the largest B1 turbo offering, and it's a 7163, and it's capable of 550 horsepower. In the center here is a B2 turbo, and you can see that the bearing housing is a little bit larger, and also the aero group is larger. The B2 series goes all the way up to 1,000 horsepower, as represented over here on the third turbo. All of the EFR product lines offer features such as compressor recirculation valves, which are similar to a blow-off valve, but they don't vent the atmosphere. They go straight back into the compressor. Also in include a boost control solenoid valve and also provisions for a speed sensor. The bearing housings are water-cooled, and this year we've offered the B2 size in an aluminum bearing housing. Um, the B1 already has a an aluminum offering as well. We also have twin scroll turbine housings, and here's an example of an open volute or a single scroll, and they're available in wastegated and non wastegated versions. This panel here shows our new product offerings for EFR. We have a co coiled compressor cover, which moves the compressor outlet 90 degrees to a conventional straight outlet. And it's a nice setup for a, a turbo that's installed on the side of the engine, and you want the compressor outlet to point towards the front of the car, for example, towards the intercooler. We also have a super short actuator, which is a shorter rod length than conventional. And that super short actuator is put in place by this bracket. We refer to it as a cheater bracket. With the cheater bracket and the super short actuator, the actuator tucks away from the compressor cover and it allows for 360 degree rotation of the compressor cover. Also new is the aluminum bearing housing for the B2 family of turbos. This B2 aluminum bearing housing offers a weight savings of four to five pounds as compared to an iron bearing housing. And then finally, this piece here is a 9174 rotor group. And it's a 91 millimeter compressor, um, and that's on the outer diameter, the exducer, coupled to a 74 millimeter turbine wheel. And this is tailored towards uh, the high boost application, high speed application, where turbine wheel speed is a concern. Let's talk for a moment about what makes EFR different than a conventional turbo. A key feature of the EFR product line is the turbine wheel material. EFR uses a gamma tie, or some people referred to as a titanium aluminide material, and it's half the density and half the weight of a conventional Inconel wheel, which means transient responses are much improved. Coupled with this turbine wheel is a dual row ceramic ball bearing cartridge, which also allows for quick spool up time. Those two technologies together make EFR turbo spool like no other. For more information on Airworks or EFR, you can check them out at BorgWarnerBoosted.com.